Okay, today's video is how to make demon eyes in Vegas Pro. This is an effect that has a lot of possibilities. It can be for a monster or someone who's possessed. For this video, I'm actually using a still photograph to demonstrate the process, but it would be the same process if you had a video. The main thing is if you're doing a shooting a video is that you need the actor to hold still and not blink. And the shot length would only be about five to six seconds. So you drag your media onto the timeline and then you go into the crop and pan tool and then you click mask. You grab the elliptical tool and you can scroll in using your scroll wheel. And if you hit the space bar, you can also move the image around. You can also click the normal edit tool. And once you see that little hand, you're free to drag the image and then scroll in to see what you're doing. So you can, you, you grab that tool and you just drag it. Once you let go, you try to get it as good as to fit as closely as you can. But once you let go, you'll have all these controls on the, and you can click and drag it to reposition it and you can stretch it when you see the double arrow and then you can grab the little, the corners. And interestingly, this eye is actually fairly circular, but up where the eyelid is, it's, it's not really a circle. It's more of a, a curved line, but you just finagle with these controls until you get it as good as you can get it. So if you want more precise control, you click on the anchor tool. And then when you click on that point and you hold control, you can actually shift the entire point down and make it more of a curved line versus an actual circle. The trick is, is clicking on the point and then pressing control at the same time. And then you have these handles on the side that allow you to, to further adjust the circle. It's a little tricky because if you see that upside down V, that means you can adjust just one handle. But if you don't see the V, then it's going to reset the control and move both handles at the same time. So you just have to keep an eye out for that. So that's looking pretty good. And when it is, then you right click and set uh, deselect and select all. And then I think we're basically done with that, that eye. Now we scroll over to the other sides and we're going to do the same thing. This eye is more difficult, I think, because it's not a circle at all. And the eyelids covering some of the eyes. So it's not going to be a perfect. So this one is just, again, a lot of tweaking and it, it just depends how obsessive you want to be with it. But if you want the control, you go to the anchor tool and you click on the points. And uh, with this one, I'm going to try to grab that handle and pull that curve down a little bit. Now see this, I should have pulled this side first because it's going to pull. Okay. So now I'm going to grab and pull and kind of stretch, try to get it down, get all the eye. I might have to get the other handle. Let um, me try this one, double click, and I'm going to adjust these handles. So with that handle, see now I'm at, I should have done this handle first because it's going to reset when I click it. Watch what happens. See, see now how both handles are moving. So now I can go back where the upside down V is and now adjust just that handle. So that's looking pretty good. Let me deselect everything and look at it. Um, I don't know. There's, I see a little bit on the bottom there, that looks a little too straight to me. So let me click on it again to select the whole thing. Click on that point just to select that point. And I'm just going to try to curve these lines just a just a hair. I don't doesn't seem like they're following along next to the eye. So you just have to play around with it and uh, play around with these handles. Like I said, that one is adjusting both handles. So you adjust that side first. Oh, now now it's switched into the that tool. So click the point again, double click it to make the handles appear. So when you click it once, it just, you can, um, when you're hitting control, you can click and drag the entire point. And then when you click it again, those handles will appear. So you can click each anchor point twice. Once to just uh, have no handles and then you click it again and you will have handles. So now I'm just going to go ahead and deselect that and see what it looks like. Um, Still not 100% happy with that. Um, the top of the eye looks okay, um, but I'll just I'll just leave it like that for now. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna feather this. So um, you know, let me just zoom in and try to fix this again. 
I'm, I'm just not happy with the way this is looking. So you see that upside down arrow. Now I can just drag that handle and make it more closely approximate the eye there. Now that's looking better to me. Yeah. So let me deselect it now and take a look. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah. So I think that's that's good enough, actually. So we're going to go in now and we're going to um, click uh, the normal edit tool. And we, when we click on the path, it, it activates all the points. Uh, it activates it. And then we go to feather both. We click that. And let me let me zoom in just a little bit here so I can see what I'm doing. So let me go into feather type. I got to select uh, the path first and now I select both and I click that on the end. And if I hit control and drag, we only want to give it just a fine amount of feather, like a one or a two. So I'm just keeping an eye on it. I think that looks good right about 2.1. So that looks good. Let me deselect those points and we're going to shift over and now add feather to this one so we click on the path to select it we click both and we click there to feather click that and the slider pops up and I hit control and again just like one two right about there I think that looks good and um, we deselect it and that's basically it so we're done masking on the eyes for now so and there's the eyes so the top layer is just the eyes. So we're going to drag in the background layer and now you'll see the whole image. So the top layer is the eyes. The bottom layer is the rest of her face. And so if we click effects, now we can manipulate just the eyes. So we're going to go into color corrector, click add, go OK. Now this part is just total creativity on your part. Whatever color you want the eyes to be. In this case, we want red. So we're just going to, um, these are low mids and highs so these are the shadows the mid tones and the highlights so we're just dragging everything into red because that's the color that we want her eyes to be and that's the color and then we come over here to saturation we drag that to zero and then we click the clock icon on the bottom and this allows us to animate the saturation so we're at zero saturation right now there's no color other than the natural color of our eyes. And we drag it to the end. And when we uh, boost the saturation up, we drag it all the way to three. The, a keyframe is automatically created for us. You can see there down at the bottom. And our eyes are pretty red, pretty demonic. So what we're gonna do here is click curves, and then we're gonna right click here, and we wanna choose smooth fade. So you see what it did to the line? So this means that her eyes will smoothly. Now when we look into her eyes here, they're just way over the top red. So the key here is to bring the opacity down until you can see into her eyes, until you can see the iris of her eyes. And uh, that's really the main thing. So you can click on this to blow up the image and you can see, you can see into her eyes, but I think I might uh, bring the opacity down even more. Uh, but you want the, ability to see into her eyes because all that detail will provide realism and uh, believe it or not we are pretty much done so I'm going to save an image of this uh, toward the end of the clip and I'm just going to drag it and put it on the bottom so I'll put it on the side there so now um, it'll kind of hold on her face uh, for longer and Believe it or not, that's it. So now we're just going to go ahead and render it out. And this is the final thing that you get. So you just have to play around with the controls and experiment. It takes a little bit of practice. But with time, you can get really good at creating a colored eyes or demon eyes. So I hope you found this helpful. And please subscribe if you did.